Diane and Derek here. Ra, ra, ra. Good morning. I hope you're fine and well. Just a wee check in today across the kitchen table. I thought we'd just have a wee midweek chat and uh, let me just get the timer started because as always, I, I don't want you sitting here all day uh, watching YouTube. Let's uh, get off our bahookies and uh, let's get off our bottoms and, and do something. Uh, if you are doing your load of laundry today, your lol, your lol, uh, maybe you want to grab something to fold. If you're working at your office desk, maybe you want to tidy out your desk drawer or tidy off uh, one side of the desk. Just a wee chat. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about how I got on at the weekend and had those... <laughs> Fabulous weekend at the Dressing Your Truth conference. But anyway, more, more of that in a minute. Uh, a wee update on what is happening here in Denmark. <laughs> it's, it's damp and it's dreary and it's dark. Uh, we put our clocks back this weekend. Like most of Europe, we put our clocks back. And I know in some parts of the world, and I know some parts of Australia, you don't put your clocks back or forward at all. Uh, and in the States, it'll be uh, next weekend. But the, we have a wee tradition here in, in Denmark that when we put the clocks back, when we put the clocks back one hour, also in the garden, we put back any of the garden furniture into storage, you know, put it into the shed or the garage or the basement, anything that's not going to survive the winter or would get blown away in, in the storms that will be coming. So we, we put it back uh, when, when we put the clocks back and then in the spring, when we put the clocks forward, that's traditionally the time that we bring the uh, the garden furniture. So, so there you go. That that's just a wee uh, Danish tradition. Um, also, we update on the lockdown here in Denmark. I mentioned it the other day. We have now gone into a, a more strict uh, lockdown. Numbers have been rising here, like lots of places uh, around the world, where we're kind of onto the second wave. Um, the health authorities were still able to cope with it. That, that's why they're bringing in the restrictions again, uh, so, so that we are able to, to cope with the, the rising numbers. And I'll, I'll just quickly go through uh, a few of the things. I won't go through everything, but, but the basic things are uh, gatherings. We were able to be gathered 50, and now that's down to 10. Um, our pubs and clubs, cafes, restaurants, uh, previously, they were closing at 10 o'clock. It was kind of, you know, uh, last orders and, and get out by 10 o'clock. Uh, moving forward, also, there will be no sales of uh, alcohol, you know, booze uh, in supermarkets or stores after 10 o'clock, you know, or news agents, anywhere where people can uh, go in and buy uh, booze. Won't be able to do that after 10 o'clock anymore. Uh, and on the mask wearing, we have mandatory mask wearing uh, on public transport, as, as you probably have as well. Uh, and that's also been extended to from to from uh, Thursday. That's also been extended to um, stores, you know, supermarkets, um, stores, shops, um, you know, anywhere like uh, cinemas, uh, theatres, any uh, public um, public buildings. Uh, universities, uh, high schools and, and sports centres but obviously you don't have to wear the mask when, when you're doing your exercise on the machines, only when you're moving about. And also uh, a reminder, not just the mask but also the physical distancing is also important and the uh, washing the hands or the hand sanitizer. So that, that's, that's a wee update on, on what is happening here. And then let, let me get into uh, the, the Dressing Your Truth uh, event. It was called I Love My Life. Yes, I do love my life. And I was um, invited to do the Saturday morning session. And for those of you who have been following for, for a while, you know that Carol Tuttle of Dressing Your Truth, she, she came to uh, Europe last summer. She was doing a little cruise which left from Copenhagen. And uh, I met up with Carol and her husband and I gave them a wee tour of uh, Copenhagen and we had such a fantastic afternoon together. And she invited me to go over to the States. That, that was the original plan uh, for the event. Now, of course, you know, with the current world situation, that, that wasn't happening. No, nobody's uh, able to travel, but they changed it into a virtual event. So I was able to be at the virtual event at the weekend and I had such a fabulous time. There was such a, a, a brilliant energy with all the ladies that were there. There were uh, demonstrations of things, there were expert talks, we had breakout sessions for all the different types 
and I am a type one which is an upward light energy and I can tell you that the energy in those sessions was <laughs> like, like through the roof. I'm just finally kind of uh, coming back to, to earth uh, now and uh, as I said I did my session on Saturday morning along with uh, Carol and we talked about uh, you know why I had got into dressing your truth and um, how Carol had helped me uh, identify my type and uh, and then I gave the ladies um, some organizational ideas for all of the types and according to type of um, just the kind of normal stuff that I, I do here and also there's a question answer session at the end that was really good fun because I, I know some of you are followers here and then there are also ladies uh, from DYT that were asking things about my family about their types um, how to uh, help uh, kids you know for setting up ideas for, for cleaning the room so it, it was just a, a brilliant weekend and even with the uh, time difference it's fantastic because there were ladies there from Australia, from uh, Germany, from the States obviously, uh, from Canada, uh, from Denmark, from Sweden, uh, from uh, the UK. So it, it was just a, a really, really nice uh, event and um, as I said, it's only now I'm just kind of gently coming back down to earth. So anyway, I'm not going to keep you uh, here all day. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Remember to do something nice for yourself, even if it's kind of damp and dreary and, and, and bleak. Uh, and, and for us now, it's like dark by five o'clock in the afternoon and it'll be getting darker earlier and earlier as, as, the, as the days go. But, you know, get the candles going, get some LED candles going, make a, get the kettle on, make yourself a nice cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Even if it's uh, bad weather, there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. Get bundled up, have a, have a wee walk around, uh, have a wee look outside at the autumn colours. If it's like that where you are, maybe find some conkers and make some conker animals. So anyway, I'm, I'm going to let you get on. Have a fantastic day. Let me just grab my pom-pom so I can say uh, live long and prosper. May the Danish hookah be with you and I shall see you very soon. Okay, bye for now with a rah, rah, rah.